Hey, it's Deanna. And right now you're looking at my YouTube channel with a, a video overview that I did of the new Kajabi platform at the end of January in 2016. So it's eight months later. I'm recording this actually on the last day of September 2016. And I thought it would probably be appropriate to give you a little overview and update on some of the enhancements that they've added for the in the last eight months. So when I first did this overview, the platform was still pretty new and there were a lot of things that were promised that hadn't quite come up, come about at that at the time I did this. And the whole point of this is I sort of like doing the behind the scenes of specific products and tools. So those of you that are researching and trying to make some decisions have um, a different perspective than the obviously the sales videos that these companies put out. So I had done this on New Kajabi. Um, at, at the time I was pretty happy with it and um, I do have to tell you that I'm very happy with it today because um, the things they promised they have delivered on, they continue to add new um, functionality, new features, uh, pretty much every week. Every week there's like a little update of stuff they're working on and new stuff that they've um, completed. So uh, again, I think I'm going to take maybe um, each different aspect and kind of highlight it. And today what I thought I would do is talk about landing pages. Because I think at the time that was a real, obviously a real important component. Because um, for those of you that are trying to figure out ex again exactly what new Kajabi is, uh, New Kajabi is intended to be a all-in-one platform to allow anybody who is trying to run an online business and particularly if you are selling digital products such as courses or membership sites, that type of thing, that you do have an all-in-one platform that allows you to create, um, sell, manage, all of that on one platform because the alternative is there are lots and lots of WordPress plugins and other online tools available that would allow you to manage access to your content, your shopping cart, your landing pages, etc. So there's a whole ton of individual tools and what New Kajabi was attempting to do is really consolidate everything to one platform. So uh, I am using it, I will be perfectly honest. Uh, I have a WordPress website. I have had that website for many, many years. There is just tons of content on that site. And the concept of me being able to transfer all of that content with the associated traffic that I've already built for that site, it really didn't make any sense. However, um, with the option of either using all these other individual tools to start selling courses, trainings, membership sites on a WordPress site, I opted to use New Kajabi. So again, in full disclosure, I'm not using it as a website. I am using it as my store. There are lots and lots of people that are actually using it for both. So they've actually built their website on here. Um, and as well as all of the uh, individual components of creating and selling their courses. So what I am going to do in this particular video is we're going to take a look at landing pages and some of the exciting things that they have done in the last eight months to um, allow you to have landing pages within this new Kajabi platform. Okay, so I've logged into my new Kajabi site. So we're looking at the dashboard right now. And what we're gonna do is go down here on the left sidebar and go to marketing. So under marketing is where all your landing pages as, and your opt-in forms are all located. So we're gonna start with the landing pages and just, I'm gonna choose new landing page. And here are all the different landing page themes. So these are being used for a variety of different um, functions. So we have your basic sort of squeeze page opt-in. 
um, and I'm, this one is called Encino. So I'm going to go ahead and click Theme Details so we can just take a quick look at it. And you can see it gives us a little bit of a preview. And it's just a basic one that's going to just simply say get the free report and it's going to link to a form. But you can also see there's an option that you can embed a video. And there you can go ahead and it has the uh, opt-in form built into it. And then a video with the opt-in too. So you can see that they've got a variety of different layouts. Um, some of these are more um, appropriate for other uses. Again, if you were just doing, here's Irvine. Let's look at that. Or maybe it's Irving. No, Irvine. <laughs> so there is a basic opt-in that you could use with an embedded video message. Let's see, let's click on the sales one. So there is a different one, a little different layout and different color. So these are all kind of what you would typically call your opt-in or squeeze pages. Um, but some of these are more along the lines of actual sales pages. And I'll show you, I'll scroll down to this one. So I think this was one that I used for a particular uh, sales page because um, you can see as I scroll down here, it actually, quite honestly, right, looks, it looks a little bit more like um, home page of a website and you could actually use it for that if you didn't want the actual Kajabi store as your home page on your website but this one you can see it's got really great layout a very more modern looking layout and then you can also use it to make your offer uh, let me find the one that I actually did use because it wasn't that one I think it was this Balboa as well but you can see I mean starting out from where they were eight months ago where I think there was very very few of these were actually I think we were actually using um, another product called megaphone um, they have uh, a good number of them as well uh, let's grab this one I'm the Balboa is the one that I used and uh, you can take a look at that so I use this one. So this one they've got set up um, as it could be, be what we would call a long form sales page for a course. Um, so it's got areas for images and text. You could describe each module. And then of course there's the buy now buttons. Uh, there's another one here that is more along the lines of a course sales page. Let's take a look at this one. There we go. And so this one kind of um, skipped all that initial part and goes straight into the what you will learn on the course. And it includes uh, links for bonuses and these are your call to action. And then there is sort of a minimal sales page. So this one is much shorter. So I, let's go into a little more detail. Let's grab this long form one and then I'm going to say get started. And I'm going to use test as my title and save it. And I just want to show you again how easy it is to go ahead and uh, modify this to match your branding and uh, add your own content. Okay, so you see here it's, it's loaded the landing page and all we need to do, very simple, you can see if I hover over these different elements, there's an edit button. So very simple, when I click edit on this headline, I can go right in here into this little text box and change my headline. Um, you can see down here, we have the ability to change the title colors. Uh, of course, we have the option to edit and add our logo. And you can see everywhere where these little boxes are with the check, you can uncheck that area. So if I uncheck show logo and then save the page, that section is going to disappear. I mean, obviously you probably want your logo there, but if you didn't want the logo, you could just do that. Now, if I 
Go ahead and check show logo again and save it. It comes back and I add my own logo by clicking change image. And it opens up an option. I could choose the file from my computer, connect to my Dropbox, connect to my Google Drive, use a URL, a link. Uh, you can see, so I have all these other options where I can go and find that logo file and upload it. And again, super easy. Um, if you don't want to show navigation, if this is just going to be a plain um, sales page, landing page with no navigation, you would simply uncheck that box and save it and poof, it's going to be gone. Uh, you want to change the text here in this area. You just click edit and over here on the left hand side, we've got the place to edit our text for this body text. You want to change the button. I'm going to say get yours now. And click Save and now the text on the button is there and it's misspelled it drives me crazy when I do that okay get yours now not get your now and then you have you can see right here the button action you can have the button action go to another landing page go to a sales page go directly to your new Kajabi checkout page you could have it do an action such as download a file or in this case we say go to a URL and that you could enter and paste that URL right there and you can edit the color of your button. So again you could see this is you know it's like very very many of the uh, different um, landing page builders but I honestly I think it's really pretty pretty easy to use pretty special. Um, here they have an image. Again, you could change the image here or I could just click edit right here, change the image and go back to, again, my computer, connect to my Dropbox, all the locations where I can pull that image in. Um, if you, you could make it a video, you can see right here, I can use, I could go in here and pick a file and upload the video uh, and the video hosting is managed by um, I believe it's Wistia and that's all included in the new Kajabi as well. Uh, don't want to autoplay the video you just uncheck that feature um, again and if for any reason let's say down here um, we've got this what's called the show the panel this section is called the panel if you didn't want to show that, you simply uncheck and save and you'll see it's going to eliminate that section and it just moved this next section up. So there's a whole lot of flexibility with this. Um, let's see if I go scroll down here. Uh, I can change this background image. I can ch change this call to action headline. I can change the buy now button. You see here there's a meet the team. Maybe that's not uh, something that you're going to do. You could use this to show different aspects of your product maybe instead of these people. But if you don't want to show all these people, let's say um, we don't want to show this bottom bunch here. You just uncheck, 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 uncheck that one, uncheck that one. I think I should have left her. Okay, so now instead of eight, we only, we're only going to have the four. So there's a lot of, I, it's pretty darn straightforward, right? I think so anyway. So you may ask, with some of these other ones and then of course I can preview let's go ahead and preview this so here we go this is my test page with those edits that I made and then I can go ahead and go back to my editing screen now if we go back and we look at the landing pages and you know that they're um, 
the examples that we had here are also the opt-in or squeeze pages. You may have questions about how all of that works. Well, you can see right here, you can create opt-in forms. So you can create an opt-in form here in New Kajabi and link that to those various opt-in uh, forms and you can also define your own fields. Now, some of the um, fun things is, of course, back eight months ago, it didn't integrate with every autoresponder. And it actually, they've added a tremendous number of integrations with a lot of autoresponders. I think I'll go ahead and do that in a different video. Um, but it went from they only had MailChimp to they have a lot more integrations with different email um, autoresponders. And they also are building their own. So they do have the option. You can send emails directly from New Kajabi. You can send email broadcasts um, based upon different products that, that your, your uh, members may have purchased. And you can create different email sequences. So that's a very big, very important thing. So there's, for some people that maybe are just starting out, um, need very basic email management and email automation, they can get away with just using new Kajabi. Now, if you already have a list created and you want to integrate with that, here are all these, I said I'd use it, do it in a different video, but I'll do it right now. Um, MailChimp, Drip, ConvertKit, uh, Segment, I'm not familiar with that. You can see I've got my Google Analytics tracking code in here. ActiveCampaign, I happen to use ActiveCampaign, so mine is integrated with ActiveCampaign. ClickFunnels, Aweber, and then you can also tr track data with your Facebook pixel if you're running Facebook ads. So. There's a great number, and any of those integrations that maybe are not built in, uh, Kajabi also connects with Zapier, and Zapier deserves its own video, because that's a lot more detail, um, which Zapier is a way of connecting multiple products together uh, and runs automatically on certain actions. So if for some reason you were not using one of these integrations with Kajabi, but there is something available through Zapier. I'll give you a perfect example. If you were going to use that landing page to run webinar registrations and you wanted to integrate with GoToWebinar, you would most likely use Zapier to do that. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to do a, a big long video here, but I wanted to give you an overview of the landing pages because I know that's a real issue for a lot of people. Um, and I hope you see that they, they've done a tremendous job in making some products uh, or additional landing pages and templates available. They're very easy to use. They've got integrations with some of the main autoresponders as well as creating their own email management um, within New Kajabi. Um, so stay, I hope you are interested in this. You have any other questions, you can always contact me at Deanna at DeannaFenton.com. Happy to answer any of your questions and uh, hope you enjoy this. If you have specific questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment if there's something else that you'd like to see. I'm just going to randomly pick different uh, elements that I think are important and particularly useful for those of you trying to build an online business. So take care until next time. Here's your, this is your simple steps to online success.